Well, happy Sunday to everyone. Um, the sauce that I made yesterday for the red penny pasta dish, I'm going to make a, another variation of that sauce today, and I'm going to make myself a personal veggie pizza with this cauliflower pizza crust. I'm going to give it a try. Away I go, making my cauliflower pizza. Look how small these are. I'm going to actually, I'm going to go ahead and make both. I'll refrigerate one uh, and eat the other one today. I got my pizza pans out. I will spray them with some olive oil to get them ready. And I'm not going totally plant-based. I'm going to kick it up with some other things. I've got some, there's the veggies. As you can see, I'm going to use up some leek that this leek that I had from my recipe uh, the other day, the vegetable black bean hash. I have leftover sweet potato. I'm going to throw some kale on it. This is here is some Canadian bacon, leftover bell pepper, and I'm going to go with these diced fire roasted tomatoes. So I'll get started. I'm going to go ahead and oil these. Pizza pans. Oh, that's it. Got it all over the stove there. I'm just gonna brush it. Just the, the area where the crust is going to sit. I went ahead and prepped everything, and I'll show you what I've done here. You can see grated cheese, the kale, which I'll put final on top everything else. This is the bell pepper, this is the leek, sweet potato, zucchini, and over here the Canadian bacon. And in this pot here is some broccoli. I'm going to parboil the broccoli, starting with the broccoli first, then add I'll get that going a little bit. I don't want to eat raw broccoli, raw sweet potato. And even though my zucchini is sliced into slivers, I still want to throw this in here, soften everything up so it cooks really good in the oven because it only has to cook, or bake, I should say, at 425, 13, actually cook, 13 to 15 minutes. And I just don't think that's long enough, especially for the broccoli. So I'm going to go ahead and puree these tomatoes because I am not a fan of whole tomatoes. I really don't care for tomatoes, but I like tomatoes in cooking. I, I could not eat a chunk of that tomato, let me tell you. So that's going in here. I'm going to process that to puree it. Then I'll taste it and see what I need to add to it for more flavor. So away I go. Well, I tasted the tomatoes after they were pureed and tasted too tomatoey for me. Not enough flavor. So I poured the pureed. Can you see it there? You probably could. The pureed tomatoes in there with some water. Probably a little too much, but I'll cook it out. And I'm going to add some garlic salt. If I add garlic salt, I don't need to add salt. And same thing with the onion. So I'm going to add a little bit of onion salt. I'm going to throw a bay leaf in there. Because I'm going to let this simmer for a good, I don't know, 30 minutes at least. I love cumin. So I'm going to hit it with a little cumin. And of course, oregano. My ultimate favorite, the tomato sauce, oregano, and basil leaves. And last but not least, the fresh ground pepper. Yeah, I'm high tech. Fresh ground pepper, like I said, I'm not adding salt. 
give it a stir. And I'll switch this to the back burner. I just brought it up front so I could work with it. The broccoli is all parboiled. Small pieces for my pizzas. I wasn't thinking to throw in my sweet potato and zucchini at the end of the time for the broccoli. So I had to start again parboiling the sweet potato. I started with a fresh pot of water. But anyway, sweet potatoes in here, it's starting to boil now. It's about three quarters of the way to where I want it. I'm going to throw in these zucchini, uh, this diced zucchini. So yeah, it takes work to take care of yourself. That fan noise in the background is my vent hood on the microwave and it comes on automatically. I can't turn it off when the oven's on. Anyway, Mr. Pooter wants to do a few little tricks. He's been sitting here patiently. I've been working on a new one it's called the bow. To bow. So let's see if we can bow. You ready? That's it. Bow. could have fit easily into my air fryer so maybe I'll try that next time we'll see how this goes I put the zucchini slivers in with the sweet potato and that's probably about where I want it I'm gonna go ahead and drain those put them on the plate here with the broccoli my sauce is simmering and I will prepare the pizzas okay I put some sauce uh, this one, probably don't even need this brush, but I like to look professional. I'm just going to spread it around like so. I'm not a fan of a lot of sauce on a pizza, but you have to have it. Uh, or it's just cheese bread, or whatever. So, I'm going to spread this around. Bring it down a little closer here. There we go. So everybody can see the pizza. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to spread that around here like so. Probably a spoon will work better, but like I said, I want to look professional. Next, I will put just a little bit of cheese. Just make it up as I go. Let's put some of the meat. There. Let's see the whole thing now. Uh, let's put some of the broccoli. A little of the meat. Broccoli. And this is the sweet potato and the zucchini. I just use my hands. I'm the only one eating it. My hands are clean. I did wash them after I gave Pooter his cookie. I promise you. Spread everything around. What am I missing? Okay, I'm missing some meat. You know, these things over here um, will require a little more cooking, so I'm going to put them on top. This is the bell pepper. And some kale. Oh, that's pretty. I'll get it up off this tray. I'm going to put some more cheese on top. more. Get off the 
tray. And that's this pizza number one. Spread this around. Just like I did for pizza number one. I will eat this one probably tomorrow for dinner. I don't have to cook tomorrow. Okay, a little cheese. I don't know, I feel like everything has to have something to stick to. So that's why the cheese, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and brush this on here. Spread it around. And Bell pepper, leeks, we go with the leek. Now the bell pepper. Kale. Well, if anything, it sure looks good. It's it is pretty. And last. Oh, I forgot the, I forgot the meat. We're going meat now. Why not, right? Meat. And last, not least, cheese it up. Clean off the Pizza pie, pizza sheet. There you have it. This pizza number two. In the preheated oven at 425. And yes, like I said, that's why this fan is going. It probably won't stop for 10 minutes after I turn the oven on. And they go for 13 to 15 minutes. There is the first one I'm gonna cut. I got my cutter out. The few things that I would change only because I, I made them this way with cheddar cheese not mozzarella or fresh parmesan uh, I forgot to put fresh garlic even though I had fresh garlic however I I didn't feel like going to the store so I had cheddar cheese going with this next time I would definitely go fresh parmesan that's a great idea I'm gonna see how this does or how I do tasting the crust, that's the big question is how am I going to like this crust? If it's a thumbs up, this will be something I regularly make and I'll switch it up and throw a bunch of different things on it. So there it is. I'll give it a slice it up. And there you have it. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll check back in again soon, someday soon. I'm gonna go sit down out there again in my butt pocket. Gonna go find something to binge watch and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Bye.